All right, today let's talk about a cell phone booster kit for specifically like a apartment, you're a renter, you do not want to drill holes in your wall, uh, you, maybe you can't bolt anything to the outside, uh, but you have a window that you can use. That's what this one is aimed for. So this is uh, from WeBoost. It's a very simple installation, and it's really designed to get signal that you can get if you get cell signal outside, but you don't get it inside either because, you know, it's a old brick building or lots of steel or you know whatever the reason is that you don't get signal inside but you do get it outside then this is pulling it in if you get no signal outside this will not help you still and so now they claim in the best case scenario this can do up to 3,000 square feet but I think that's probably if it's like an open studio apartment if you have walls and stuff it's probably not going to go that far and then also requires you to have better signal outside in order to get better coverage inside so um that's all of what the marketing stuff is. I'm going to actually test this and show it to you. So I'm going to do a quick install here. Now I'm in a house, not an apartment, but uh, it actually works out well because I'm in my basement and my basement has a in-law quarter or you could call it an apartment. And because it's underground, I get no signal. I get, you know, very little signal. Sometimes um, my phone will show no signal drop off. Sometimes it will show signal, but it will drop calls. So it should be a great place to test it because outside, especially if I go up to the main floor, then I do get good signal again. So that's what we're going to install this on, and I'll show you what type of um, signal difference I get on my phone, and then um, I'll talk about some of the other uh, pros and cons of this unit, but first let's take it out of the box just to see what it comes with. All right, so this kit is really um, just that. It's a kit of different parts. So the Weed Boost unit is right here. This is the actual uh, booster. So this is what takes in the signal from outside, and then it's going to boost it through this little antenna uh, to the inside. So you get two antennas with this unit. This one, like I said, is for the inside. So this is what is going to basically be your little miniature uh, cell tower. So you put this where um, your phones will um, you know, be able to connect to that. On the other side, there's a couple things that they include to help. And the key thing for not drilling the holes to get from inside to outside is this cable here. So this is a little 6-inch cable that is... Uh, they call it like a window entry cable and what it is is it's super thin there so that it can typically get through most windows and i'll show you how i do that here on my uh, sliding window and this gets you from outside the uh, apartment to inside the apartment through a door or through a window or some other uh, place where you have uh, a big enough uh, slot to get that through then on the outside this is a bolton brand um, they call it the beacon window mount directional cellular antenna. So this is designed uh, to be window mounted, but it does come with a hose clamp there and a bracket that is semi-universal because uh, it has suction cups that they include in here that you can uh, put in. Or if you want to mount it on a wall, you could certainly do that and just screw through these holes and you can mount it to a wall. Or like I said, the hose clamp goes through this slot here as well. And then you can have this on a pipe that you have outdoors as well. I do keep saying outdoors because that's where you're going to really see the biggest difference. If you have this indoors, it's really probably not going to help you much over just having your cell phone uh, there. So uh, do know you do need to put this outdoors. But like I said, there's not much to the install. You have to put a couple of these little pieces on. Um, but otherwise, it's basically just connecting this cable in to this guy. And this is a six foot cable, so if you have just a window, you can literally put this on the inside, uh, connect this directly to here to get it um, to outside, and then have this six foot cable to place the, the, um, this antenna on the outdoors. But they include with the kit a 30 foot cable. This is a coax cable, so the same thing as like your, um, you know, your old you know, TV coax cable that you would have. And this is um, something you can put on any of these connections so if you need to have your indoor unit 30 feet away once you get it in through a window you can do that or if you need to have your antenna 30 feet away outside after you get out of a door or window you could do that as well so you can put this uh, cable uh, anywhere and in fact if you use a good quality cable you could use a shorter one or you know two different ones uh, however you want but the kit includes a single uh, 30 foot cable so um, other than that you got your power adapter here. They do include uh, a little bit of instructions here and gives you, you know, if you need help, uh, do reach out to them. They give you a phone number that you can call so that, that they can help you guide you through uh, this setup. But for this, what I'm going to do 
is I am going to uh, put these little pieces on the uh, suction mount here. I'm going to use mine on a window because that's the quickest and easiest for me. And then I will show you where I'm going to place this unit. So these uh, suction cups just slide in here through the holes. They include these little plastic uh, nuts that they just screw into so they hold in place. So it's very quick and easy. You really don't need any um, any tools to, to do that. It does have a, a hex head on it so you can put a wrench on it or socket but you don't really need to. You can actually just hold it with your hand pretty good. They tighten down nice and snug. So once I have these four suction things on there I need to I think um, put the cable through the hole first. So yeah, so this just slides in there like that. It does have little uh, grooves on it, so you need to pick it up in order to be able to rotate it because once you slide it down, it gets locked into place. And then what you do want to do is take this uh, nut on the bottom of it and also thread that in here through the cable. And then that will allow you to tighten it down so that it's a uh, fixed permanent install here. So tighten this in here and then it'll be locked in place. So um, I'm gonna go place this one outside and we will see how it does. All right, so here's just a standard uh, sliding window. Now this works with you know double pane uh, windows, casement windows. Uh, most of them really you can typically find a gap this way. Most of them, the best one is in the corner. So some of this trim stops at the very corner. So that's where I just fish this wire right through um, that um, corner piece there. And then I can close the window and it will close all the way for me and I can lock it down. So that's how I'm going to do this testing for this window. And I'm going to go outside and I'm going to run the longer 30 foot coax up. Because even though this is outside, this is still, you can't see because it's dark outside, but the ground's about right here on this side with the walkout basement. Um, and my towers are over that way back through the house. So... I'm gonna get it up and over so I can get this antenna have a clearer signal uh, to the um, to the tower. All right, so I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can um, I have the antenna out here on this corner window, and it's facing where I know my tower to be. So this cable just uh, goes down, and then right below is actually the the basement um, window. So it's basically it just has to go down about 15 feet. I mean, I have the the cable kind of snaking around a little bit, so. Um, this is where it's set up now I can go down there and look at the lights on the unit itself and that will tell me how well it is um, it is picking up that signal on the window and I'm just going to do a speed test on my phone just so that we know uh, what our baseline is this is obviously outdoors not using the booster um, but this is I guess you'd say my best case scenario if I got the outdoors down in the basement that would be a perfect booster um, with no loss at all, but um, it's not going to do that. I believe so this is our baseline looks like 185 down and Then we're only going to get a few up. So um, Not the best upload here. That means I don't have the best signal still outside uh, to grab All right, there we go 3.25 upload all right, so we have the booster cable hooked up. I don't have the power plugged in uh, down there on the wall outlet yet because I want to show you the speed test first. So to be fair, I'm going to be here by the window. This is where I get the best signal in the basement. And we're just going to test it, of course, with my Wi-Fi off and see what kind of speed we get down here close to the window. And then we'll head over here to this corner where I get the worst um, signal. You can see I get two bars on 4G LTE is what it says. And we're looking like about 12 down. And then we'll see what kind of upload we get. Now you can also, if you're big into this kind of stuff, you might pay attention to this ping. The ping is your latency. Uh, you can see that my loaded download ping is about two and a half seconds, which is terrible. Um, and we will see what kind of upload is very minimal upload. So what that tells me is I have poor signal. My cell phone doesn't have enough power. Uh, to get the signal back to the tower so um, very slow performance there that's by the window if i just walk over here you can see it's just 20 feet behind me is that window I go in this corner because this is where i know i get the worst signal i used to be here uh, we used to live down here in the basement while we moved in and refinished the upstairs let me test again 
because I normally can't get it to work often uh, here at the bed. Uh, cell phone calls won't work typically, uh, so let's just see if it will even run a speed test here by the bed. It looks like that answer is no. It's just going to keep trying to connect. No, nope, maybe it's doing something. Yeah, I don't think it is. It's trying. And so this is what you give. You're trying to load a website or send a text message. It looks like it's trying very hard, but uh, it never really does anything. So that's why this place needs a booster. So let me, oh, we got 0.01. I saw it for a second there, 0.03, something uh, minuscule. So not really a connection, like I said, down here without a signal booster. So let's um, turn on that booster and see what happens. You can see it has five green lights. Those lights are one for each of the bands that it supports. And green means that we're good and they're all connected and, um, and they have good enough signal at least to boost. Um, you don't get a lot of information on exactly you know how good of signal so you're aiming you have to kind of just maybe trial and error it um so let me go ahead and test again just for reference this was the outside one 185 down 3.24 up so in this case you can see i got four you know, all all five bars of signal um it's showing here now what's interesting is that it does show 5g um, but the booster does not do 5g but it doesn't mean that it doesn't help your phone um, get 5G signal. Having a stronger 4G signal can help your phone connect to 5G signals as well. So what you can see here is my download is 76.4. Obviously that's less than uh, outdoors was. But what's really interesting here is that this is helping my upload actually get better than I had outside. So actually, you know, twice as fast as I had um, outside for upload. So that's right at the booster. Uh, let's move away from the booster. We're just going to go about 20 feet here. So not very far, but the booster, you know, um, doesn't send the signal that far is is the uh, the downside to it. So you can see we're only about 20 feet away. This is the bed that I tested before where I got nothing. So let's test it again and see if we get better than nothing. Oh, slightly better, um, just a half megabits per second upload. Um, still very poor. I'm not sure why that upload is so poor here because I mean it's not even really blocked signal But if I go over here, I do think my bars of signal do get better So let me just test it again. This is where you're going to get into This setup is really I think I think it's their weakest one other than like maybe a car one is weaker But it's not going to be projecting that cell signal out super far away from that booster um, so you can see just moving here uh, which doesn't seem really to be any further away we got 54 down and i'm getting about let's see if it's getting one or two um upload so better but definitely um you want to be close to the unit so that's probably what they call it the apartment unit is up by the apartment i was actually getting um better upload than i was getting outside which is quite impressive um, so let me just double check make sure that i'm i'm uh being fair, so I'll just go to this, uh, I guess the rooster. Yes, I have a rooster uh, in my basement for some reason. Not sure why it's here, but it is. So um, this is, I would say, a very realistic place where you could have your phone. You could have a table nearby. You know, you're uh, five, ten feet away, and I'm getting 90 megabits per second download. So this is actually really good. So I'm really happy with the performance if I'm close to this unit. And again, this is the same, I was getting 3.24 outside. So I'm getting that down here. So I'm almost getting the outside performance down here. So long as I'm close to the unit, that's the key thing. And the other thing I just want to remind you on is if you have better signal outside, you'll get better coverage on the inside. I, I know that maybe doesn't fully make sense on why that happens, but it. It's adding a gain to the outside signal quality. So the higher that signal quality is outside, the more it can boost it on the inside. So um, anyways, it does work. It certainly does change my performance where it actually gets a connection down here. But as soon as I start going um, further away and go around a corner, you know, a slight little wall corner there, 
uh, it does drop off uh, pretty quickly and I lose my, my connection. So um, something to note, it works. It's simple to set up, suction cup to the window. It's great for those temporary use cases where you might move out in several months or a couple years. Um, and um, so from that standpoint, it works. So as always, I do ask you to hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel to see more stuff like this. Also, I'm one of the few YouTubers that actually does read the comments and answer them. So if you have a question or a suggestion, um, do put it in the comment section down below in YouTube. And I do read those, and if it's something I can answer, I will answer it. Uh, if you want to just say, hey, great job, thumbs up, that's awesome too. Uh, I appreciate it. Or if you have other experiences yourself you want to share with other viewers do that as well so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time